the Grade 3 La Provoyante Stakes Race Preview. This was last year's running. It's a Grade 3, a mile and a half on the turf for older fillies and mares. It was won last year by number 2 in this race. Showing last year's running by personal best. She broke pretty well, but she's going to drop back and come from behind. There's no personal best in this year running, so there's no chance to go back to back. Personal best is just loping along. She's sitting third last behind this fast pace for this distance. They go around the first of three turns. They're just loping along. This kicks off the stakes action on Pegasus Day at Gulfstream Park. We got a great card. This is our first race preview of the card. Adventuring the 3-2 to two, uh, second choice is set in the pace, followed by Beside Yourself, Transient, and My Candy behind them. Then the 6-5 to five favorite, Personal Best, sitting third last. And the other two are at the back of the pack. <laughs> Adventuring. Adventuring is setting the early pace. They went the first quarter mile in 23.48 seconds. Half mile in 48.19 seconds. Three quarters of a mile in 113. As they go down the backside after just completing the second of three turns, it's still adventuring. Followed by Beside, beside Herself, My Candy Girl in Transit. Personal Best is still loping along, waiting for the cue from the jockey. And then number one and number seven, Trail the Field. They went one mile in 138.71 seconds as they go around the final bend. They, they got to get to adventuring, but here comes Personal Best. She looks like she's got boatloads of, of horse. She's going to go to the outside. She's going to be much the best in this race. Adventuring is still a leader. Transient, transient is going to get first run, though. But here comes Personal Best. Jockey hits her once, straightens her out, and she's going to go on to victory. That was a 2023 edition of the La Proviante Stakes. A lot of these horses in this race are all coming out of this race. This uh, will be a, a race replay for a lot of the horses in this video. But we're starting it off with Ro Romagna Mia. She's sitting fourth in this race. She broke well. She's just going to bide her time. She's the heavy favorite. Viva La Red and Taz are going to go out for the early lead, who are also in this race and we'll get to later. But they're going to be dueling for the lead, followed by Coco and Robagdabia. Miss Yearwood is behind that, and rounding out the field is number four. As they go past the wire the first time, Tass has put the head in front and is going to go on with it after a quarter mile in 25.23 seconds. <sighs> Viva La Red is back to second. Coco is in third, and Romagna Mia is pretty much walking in fourth. They went the first half mile in 49.61 seconds. They picked it up a little bit, but still not fast at all. Tass is just loping along. Viva La Red, Coco, Romagna Mia, who ended up winning this race, just waiting for the cue. They went three quarters and 115. But Taz could be an early leader in. This year's running of the La Proviante Stakes. Viva La Red's going to show some speed too. And I expect Romagna Mia just to sit back and make that long run. I think she's the best horse in this race. Can she get the right trip from the one post? That's about it. Coming from off the uh, pace. 
But she's getting her cue now. She's circling wide. Jockey's barely moving on her. Just looking around, see who, who's coming. Because he knows he's got tons of horses. As he hits the lead, this race is over. This is Romagna Mia, number one in the 2024 La Proviante Stakes. A grade three from Gulfstream. Number two in the La Proviante Stakes is Viva La Red, who is coming out of the same race as uh, Romagna Mia. And she's going to go on to set the early pace in this race with Taz. Viva La Red was 40-1 to in this race. She outran her odds, but I think she's a long shot. In this year's running of the La Proviente uh, stakes, she's definitely a pace factor. As you can see here, she's ranked. She wants to go 25.23 was too slow for her, but you got to preserve the energy going a mile and a half. She's She rated nice sitting in second once Taz was a little rank. But I think that's all she's going to be in this race is a nice pace setter, keep it honest. But she's going to be a big number. And she might, if she runs like she did here, she could hit the board. But I doubt it. She's just sitting right behind Taz. Who's just loping along that went three quarters and one fifteen. Just waiting for the jockey to say go. She's not at his rank. She's on the flank of Tass. Gotta hold off the big girl though. Romagna Mia who's who moved up. And obviously, as we just saw, they're not gonna be able to do that. But I think She's nothing more but a pace play in this race. She doesn't really quicken here. She's a little grinding it out, moving up inch by inch as Romagna Mia is coming. <sighs> she ends up getting swallowed by Romagna Mia. But can she hang on for third? No, she actually can't. No, she's fighting. She does hang on for third. Yeah. So she was beaten a long way by Romagna Mia. I doubt she can make up those lengths in one start. I think she's a toss. That is Viva La Red in the La Proviente Stakes. Or Kali Kim or all or Kali Kim. Her last race was the Grade Three Long Island Stakes at Aqueduct, where she broke last, but she's gonna sit second last behind Vergara. What loves looks like Rombeek and Untruly, uh, Unruly Julie. She's just. She looks like a winner already. She's ready to go. She's a little keen, but she's got plenty horse. As they go around the first turn, she's they're not going very fast. They went the first quarter in 25.14. There's not much pace in this year's La Proviente stakes, except Viva La Red and Tass. But I don't expect them to be a threat to go wire to wire. I think somebody sitting right off has a better chance to win this race than even though it'll be a very slow pace. But our Kali Kim or our, our Kali Kim still bide her time. Sitting second last. She's moving up now as... 
They went three quarters and 114.68 seconds. She's just going to follow this number seven on on Ruli Julie as they head to the far turn. Just waiting for the word go. And she's about to get it. Start making her move. Still waiting. Now he says go. And here she comes running. She's got a great turn of foot. She loves to win. Thinks she's a big threat to win this race. She's like 8 for 14. I put it with her intro to the horse. But I think she's a big threat to win the La Proviante Stakes. That is R. Cauley or Callie Kim. Number four in the La Proviante Stakes is Alpha Bella. Alpha Bella comes out of the Tropical Park Oats, which was run right here at Gulfstream Park. She's going to... Uh, Break well. She's number eight. She's going to go up there and uh, contest for the pace. She's She was 11, 11 to 1 this day. And she's going to sit right off the speed. I think this is what she's going to do in this race this Saturday. I think she'll sit third behind the, one of the two horses we spoke about earlier. Uh, Viva La Red. I think she'll sit about third or fourth. They went the first half mile, first quarter mile in 22.81. She's got speed. She's out of the top Pletcher Barn. You got to take them seriously. I think she's going to run a good race uh, this Saturday. First half mile went in 47.22 seconds. As they make their way down the backside... She she knows she's the jockey knows it's always gonna beat this nine to one shot. So just bind her time. Here come the horses behind her. Startup mentality, who's a very nice horse. And the jockey gets going on on uh Alpha Bella, but she's gonna be swallowed up by the field. But she hangs in there and runs a nice third. As Be My Sunshine slipped up the rail and stole this race. Breath Away is going to get second. And Alpha Bella ran a nice third. That is Alpha Bella in the La Proviante Stakes. Anatolian. This horse is the wild card in this race. Yes, she's coming out of... Claiming and starter allowance horses races as this was her win in the off the turf uh claiming crown at the fairgrounds. But trainer Mike Maker is dangerous off the claim. He loves to bring these claiming horses and then they pop up and win major stakes races across the country. So you gotta take that into factor. This is was her win in the off the turf claiming crown race. She's dead last. She's moving up a little bit. They win the first quarter mile in 23.82 seconds. Uh, it, coming from that far back, she needs a pace to run into. And I don't know if she'll get it in this uh race she's just better than these horses so she was able to overcome a slow pace but she's kind of blocked in now she's shuffled back to last that horse went right around her but jockey's not gonna panic gonna swing her out ride she's gonna come on running and win this claiming crown event as they come down the stretch, she's going to battle with this horse down to the, the wire, but she's going to edge on by. 
that is Anatolian in the La Previante Stakes at Gulfstream Park. She's a wild card in this race, and wouldn't one I would not leave off the ticket at a nice price. Number six in the La Proviente Stakes is Sister O'Toole. This was her last run at Del Mar where she broke nicely and she's going to drop back to pretty much last. There was no speed on tap this day at Del Mar and there is no speed lined up in the La Proviente Stakes. So that might be a problem with her running style. The thing is, I don't. There's no speed at all. I think they'll be a little more bunched up than they are here, as she is ten off of them. I don't. I hope she's not that far back because she's got no shot. As they went twenty six here, I don't think they'll go that slow. But it's gonna be a slow pace, and she's gonna need to work out a trip for being last. And if she's good enough, maybe she can overcome it. She's a very nice horse. As she's banked a lot of money, as you saw in, in the uh, horse preview. But she was just too far back this day. They went almost tw 52 seconds for a half mile. That is crawling. And she, it's incredible she was able to make up as much ground as she did. As they go down the backside, she is still last by a good margin. They went six furlongs in 117.30 seconds. And she's still last. If they go that slow and she's that last, that that far back, she's got no shot. She needs to be closer up. As they go around the far turn, Jockey is starting to feel like we need to go. He's pressing on her, but she's not responding. She's gonna go wide. She's making up a little ground. She's she she's a grinder. She doesn't really have that uh turn of foot, but she was just too far back to catch the leaders. She did close very nicely. She got up for third, but the uh, they just walked the dog up front. That is Sister O'Toole and the La Proviente Stakes. Number seven in the La Proviante Stakes is Sensitivity. This was her last run at Tampa Bay Downs. She is number four. She was 12-1 to 1 that day. She's sitting in a nice stalking trip, which I think could be advantageous for her as there is no speed, as I've been saying the entire video. But that could be very advantageous for her. She's sitting fourth right now. She went off at 13-1 to 1 this day. And she couldn't have got a better trip. They went the first quarter mile in 24.17 seconds. And she's just following the favorite. The 9-5 to 5 favorite Treasure Jim in this race. As they go on the backside. She is just blocked in right now. She's not really ranked, which I like. She's very calm. And I th think she's got an outside shot to win the, the La Proviante Stakes. Maybe not, but I like her r running style compared to what she's going to be facing on Saturday with the speed. They went the first half mile in 49.57 seconds. I think she'll get first run on all the closers. But here she comes at 13 to 1. She's got to run down the favorite, Treasure Jim. Treasure Jim just opened up two lengths with a great turn that she just had. But here comes Sensitivity. Sensitivity is flying and is going to pull off the upset at 13 to 1. She steps up to Grade 3 Company in the La Proviente Stakes.
the second to last horse in the La Proviente Stakes is number eight, Taz. And for the third time, we're going over this race. Taz and Viva La Red break out the gate. I think Taz can be a dominant horse in this race if she can maybe get to the front and slow it way down because she was a little rank here. But even they went 25 and she wasn't good enough to hold off for Magnamia. Maybe she can hold on for a second. I think she will probably be on the lead as Viva La Red gave it up to Fortaz. But I think Taz may might be second best. Cause I do think she'll probably be on the lead. I don't know. I think this race is Romagna Mia's race to lose. I think she's very solid favorite. To win this race. She likes Gulfstream. She ran down. Taz and Viva La Red. Two horses already in this race. And I don't think the outsiders are that strong. But Taz I think could. Hit, definitely get a good shot to hit the board. And round out the exacta. Or steal it if. Reminding me it gets blocked in. Because she is coming from the f- one post. But I like Taz's shots in the La Proviente Stakes. As Speed always does well at Gulfstream. We shall see. This is why they run the race. They go around the far turn. It's still Taz. Coco is dropping back. Viva La Reds get worked on. And here comes Romagnabia. It was just much the best. But Taz is still fighting. She's still fighting. She's going to be second best by a good margin. There's four lengths back to Taz. I think Taz has a great shot to hit the board in the La Proviente Stakes. And finally, the last horse in the gate for the La Proviente Stakes is Highland Grace. This was her race in the Sands Point Stakes at Belmont at the Big A. This is a grade two over a yielding race course. She won't get that. uh, She'll get a firm one at Gulfstream. Leave No Trace is going out to set the uh, lead. Uh, heavy favorite Eternal Hope is moving on up. Be Your Best is moving up. I think uh, Highland Grace will probably just be too far back. She's the number eight. She's just way too far back. They went the first quarter mile in 24.42 seconds. Leave No Trace, the long shot leader, is starting to slow it way down. Be your best in Eternal Hope, or third and fourth, over this yielding turf turf course. And with Highland Grace, I think she might need this race, even though she's going to be coming from way out of it. I think she's going to need it. This is her first race in a very long time since this race. I think she'll need it. As they come into the stretch, Eternal Hope is going to look for a seam, and she's going to get it. Here comes Highland Grace on the inside. She's flying up the rail, but it was just too, too little, too late. And she's going to settle for third. That is Highland Grace and the La Proviente Stakes from Gulfstream this Saturday on Pegasus Day.
Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Please like the video. Share it with your friends. Let's grow the horse racing world. And go check out our website and Patreon. Thank you.